Um, so a bit of a fun part to wind up the evening. Um, just recently, uh, the Charter has put together some safety Charter Champion Awards, and this is our first night to have them. Uh, we've got 13 awards to give out tonight, and the awards are there, the, the recipients of the awards are nominated by people either within or without their business, or outside their business, and these people have been nominated because they display leadership and initiative on site. And it's fantastic to give these people the awards because these are the real practitioners on our sites. And the really cool thing about the recipients tonight is these awards are given through from apprentice to worker to site manager level. So kind of everybody's representative and involved and they're also from a number of different companies of different sizes and structures. So our good lady, the Mayor, is gonna uh, present the awards tonight. Yep, good. <laughs> and um, Got a bit of a blurb here on each person. Let's see. So the first uh, recipient tonight is Joshua Lee. Joshua's a site manager with Hawkins Group. Josh joined Hawkins. It's OK. There's, there's a bit of a blurb on each person here. Josh joined Hawkins in 2014 and right from the start has shown a strong commitment to safety within the business. Josh has come up with a number of initiatives which have been implemented with Hawkins. These have included simplifying site safe processes and developing a plant induction process, which assists in ensuring that the plant and equipment is fit for purpose on arrival at the site. Josh is a great mentor to others and a standout safety leader within the Hawkins Group business. Well done, Josh. <laughs> Grant Carpenter is a foreman carpenter at Hawkins Group. Grant supports the younger, newer employees, subcontractors, and the Hawkins site management team to ensure safe work practices are executed on site. In his role as a mentor and supporter, he advises on safe work methodology, develops task analysis, and reviews the processes for safely carrying out hazardous tasks. Not one to take the back seat, Grant is a driver of safety on all Hawkins Group construction sites, ranging from large commercial sites to working in the yard. Grant is recognised by his peers and managers for demonstrating leadership in health and safety every day. Well done. The next recipient is Kane Johnson. Kane is a health and safety officer. <laughs> Kane is from AGL Scaffolding and Rigging. Kane has been AGL's health and safety officer since November 2014. He has taken ownership of the role with both hands and has lifted and improved the overall health and safety culture of AGL Scaffolding through visible leadership. Kane has become an NZQA certified drug tester and uses this qualification to ensure all their workers are regularly tested, cleared and safe when going onto work sites. Kane runs weekly toolbox talks, health and safety meetings, and writes a detailed health and safety report every month. Kane also invites relevant guests to come on site to talk with and educate workers on health and safety practices. Just mention here, AG Scaffolding, that, that's a really good initiative to take, and a very, very brave thing to do around alcohol and drug testing. It's a pretty tough stance to take, and, and well done, you guys. Ben Lawrence, an apprentice carpenter with contract construction. <laughs> ben is a second year apprentice who excels in his work tasks associated with health and safety practices. Ben often leads toolbox meetings and carries out weekly site safety inspections. Ben's initiative and confidence when confronting safety related, related issues belies his years and demonstrates true leadership to his peers and managers. Ben is highly valued by the whole team at contract construction and in particular his workmates who say he's always looking out for them. Well done. <laughs> Brent Cochran, Site Manager, Arrow International. Brent's consistent approach to critical risk assessment is a key factor to the successful health and safety management of Arrow International's current project on Manchester Street. Brent is responsible for pre-construction development and the day-to-day -day administration of the Arrow Health and Safety Site Project Management Plan. Brent's management style and colourful communicative skills enables him to discuss health and safety concerns both proactively and critically with staff and subcontractors in a non-confrontational manner. Brent champions Arrow's health and safety programme and best practice requirements for his visible leadership and input. Well done, Brent. <laughs> Jason Thornley, Site Manager, Arrow International. Jason is responsible for the day-to-day -day admin of the Arrow Health and Safety Programme and Management Plan on several Arrow projects. 
Jason's commitment to health and safety excellence on the project is well recognised by the subcontractors and his ARO colleagues. Holding weekly health and safety inspections and toolbox talks, Jason regularly engages ARO subcontractors on site-specific risks, finding mutual solutions to safer working alternatives. Jason's health and safety management style displays leadership as he engages ARO subs through promoting open dialogue and listening. This has resulted in improved management of critical risks, especially around working at height. Well done, Jason. Ron Harmon, Senior Site Manager, Arrow International. Ron is responsible for pre-construction development and the day-to-day -day admin of the Arrow Health and Safety Programme and Management Plan. Since joining the Nazareth South project, Ron has had considerable impact in managing critical risks and implementing safe working methods on the project. These include the preparation and application of on-site planning meetings with the Arrow subcontractors and the implementation of safety work method statements for critical risk activities. Ron has demonstrated his positive leadership approach by liaising and inviting WorkSafe to the project to review and discuss Arrow's health and safety hazard and critical risk identification processes and their physical application on site. Ron has also been recognised for his continued vigilance and pursuance of excellence in managing critical risk activities, recently receiving a company award from his employer, Arrow International. <laughs> Chris Pankard, Site Manager, Arrow International Limited. Chris was employed by Arrow as a site manager cadet and since joining the business earlier this year has had a significant impact on his current project. Chris is involved in the review and application of subcontractors site specific safety plans and assists with active monitoring on the performance of subcontractors to ensure compliance with the Arrow Health and Safety Project and Management Plan. Chris has been awarded two Arrow Health and Safety Awards for his contribution and application of safety work method statements. The safety work method statements implemented by Chris we're focused on planning, communication and control of critical risk activities. These have since been used as guide, guidance templates, examples for the greater Arrow business. Well done, Chris. <laughs> Monica Retveld, Site Manager, Arrow International Limited. Monica is responsible for pre-construction development and the administration of the Arrow Health and Safety Programme and Management Plan. Monica has been an outstanding asset for Arrow International in the way that she has dealt with some consistently poor performing subcontractors. Showing true leadership, Monica's proactive stance in relation to developing safe behaviour on site has ensured significant project hazards, critical risks and other safety related issues have been identified and addressed appropriately. Subbies previously reluctant to adopt health and safety practices are now showing excellence in health and safety and committing to regular health and safety training programmes for their own workers and supervisors on site. Well done, Monica. This is hard work, I think I need a beer, Michelle. Um, Chris Putt, Carpenter, Corbell Construction. Chris is an on-site carpenter and active member of the Corbell's Construction's Health and Safety Committee and provides regular input into process improvement. Chris recently noted, noticed that not many of their subcontractors were complying with a new company policy requiring the use of platform ladders only on Corbell's sites. Displaying initiative and leadership, Chris created a poster for the site hazard boards clearly outlining what ladders only could be used on Corbell's construction sites. Champion this requirement now sees full on-site compliance and a safer workplace for the contractor and employees alike. Well done, Chris. <laughs> Greg Bridge, team leader of Maiden Construction. Greg is a charter champion in the true sense of the title. He is an old school builder with proactive approach and employs contemporary methodology to health and safety. In short, Greg gets it. His eagerness and expertise in repairing earthquake damaged dwellings and his commitment to getting people back into their homes with a defect free finish depicts him as the perfect tradesman. Health and safety is Greg's first priority in any job he undertakes and he leads by example. Greg prides himself on the tidiness of his site, tool compliance and the best practice when dealing with all the critical risks. Toolbox Tours, Hazards ID, Accident and Incident Reporting are just another day at the office on Greg's sites as he champions the development of the health and safety culture of Maiden's business. As Chairman of the Maiden Group and Health and Safety Committee, Greg has a tireless approach to making sure that a seamless integration between management and trade staff is maintained and problems are solved as a collaborative group. Greg understands the cultural shift that is being made in all areas of occupational health and safety in New Zealand. Everyone loves a champion and Maiden Construction love Greg. Good on you, Greg. Ross Patterson, Gateman and Health and Safety Site Support, Armitage Williams Construction. 
The construction project Ross works on is a new five-storey building, formerly known as the Price Waterhouse Coopers Building. Stakeholders from Becker recently had a very positive experience on site during their health and safety induction performed by Ross in June of this year. After his induction process, the Becker staff felt comfortable walking out onto the site, knowing that they had been looked after, informed in an appropriate manner, and enabled them to remain safe during this construction site visit and for future visits. The reason why Becker believe Ross deserves the h &S Champion Award is because he is passionate towards health and safety. Ross demonstrated genuine care for people when he was providing the h &S induction, provided examples of current hazards and risks on site to look out for. Ross's h &S reporting is robust and thorough. He is always up to date in all aspects on site, is professional patient, thorough and a proud representative of Armitage Williams Construction. Well done, Ross. Our last recipient for this evening is Dermot England, Site Manager Max Contracts. Since Dermot started with Max Contracts nearly two years ago, he has shown excellent health and safety leadership skills. Dermot makes sure all task analysis are documented and implemented, and sites are clean and hazard free. As a recent example of his commitment and leadership on site, Dermot discovered a critical situation and deemed the site unsafe. He immediately put an all site activity on hold while he engaged structural engineers to check the situation out before anyone was allowed to resume construction back on site. Brave thing to do, Dermot. Recently, the main project contractor, Hawkins Group, stated that Dermot's site was the best and safest they have come across and put him forward for this award. Congratulations, Dermot. <laughs> That's where we wrap it all up tonight, everybody. Um, please do join us for a moderate drink and something to eat. Um, and have a really safe Christmas. Just calling back, you've all seen the charter video, and that last clip on that video is about people returning home safe to their family. So look, with that in mind, do have a safe Christmas and a good Christmas. Enjoy the well-earned break and enjoy it with your families. Thanks very much.